Your body can need mending in all sorts of ways, and we're going to meet some special teams that are trained to fix you. <laughs> Speaking is one of the most complicated things you can do. And while I bet you know that your lips and tongue and voice box are all involved, I bet you don't know what your soft palate does or even where it is. Well, open your mouth and say ah. Uh... See that? It's where the dangly bit hangs from. And most of us use it without even thinking about it. But today, we're going to meet a patient who's learning to use hers. Nine-year-old Millie is in speech therapy after she was born with a cleft palate. This means she had a hole going through the roof of her mouth to her nose. She's had a series of operations to fix this. However, Millie still finds speaking a little bit difficult. There are some sounds that you find really easy and some sounds that you find difficult. And I find the S word more difficult than other words. And that's, that's the one you've been working on today, isn't it? Yeah. When you make a speech sound like an S, the soft palate needs to lift up and make a seal with the back of the throat. In Millie's case, she isn't able to do that. So when air comes up, it isn't directed just into her mouth, it also escapes down her nose as well. To help her with that, she's working with speech therapist Jane O'Connell. Today I've joined the class and Jane's set us a challenge. I've got to make up a sentence for each of these words. And then I'll be better than you. <laughs> and I eat powerful I get. Well. Oh, you might use powerful adjectives. Yeah. I don't think I know any powerful adjectives. <laughs> so. My dad showed um, the word to make a door. My dad sawed the word to make a door. Good sentence. Now it's my turn. Uh, I saw the sun shining in the sky. No, what I saw. What is Sorry. Millie's having none of it. So I can't say I saw the sun? No. No, I meant like I saw the sun. No, that doesn't work. Does it? Well, you tried. I think I need my homework more than Millie. <laughs> <laughs> there are other sounds that most of us take for granted, but again, our bodies have to do more than you'd think. Make a mmm sound for me. Mmm. OK, what happens if I hold your nose? Listen to what happens mm. to that sound. V. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. No. What would normally happen is the air would come down your nose, but because I'm holding your nose, I'm blocking the air from coming down, and it actually turns that sound into almost a b sound. So try that at home. Make a m mm sound, and the m mm sound is a nasal sound where the air does have to come out your nose, and if you block your nose, mm. Mm. you can't make the sound. So it becomes a b as the air escapes. So the really difficult thing that Millie's having to learn is to consciously control muscles that most people don't even know exist, like the muscles at the top and the back of your mouth. And so that is quite a skill to master. Before we finish, Millie's got her own speaking challenge for me. OK, so I've got to say red lorry and yellow lorry. That's fast. Fast. <laughs> red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red... Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, she beat me again. Good luck, Millie. This is our lab, where we're going to do some incredible body experiments. Ah, that really hurt. Just don't try any of this at home. Today, it's muscles. Meet Tiny from Tottenham. Yeah, we've already met. Tiny, put my brother down. <coughs> Go on, mate, set me down. <laughs> You've got a lot of muscle. Can we have a look at your biceps? Not Chris, not you. How big is that bicep? 24 inches. 24 inches, so that's 61 centimetres. That's amazing. So Tiny's bicep is probably bigger than your waist. Tiny's muscles are big and very, very strong. But what are they made of? Well, your muscles are made up of fibres formed from millions of individual cells, and blood vessels deliver the energy that your muscles need in order to move. Now, a single muscle fibre on its own isn't very strong, but when you gather a bunch of them together, they become much more powerful. But Tiny doesn't have any more muscle cells than Chris. So how did Tiny's muscles get so big? Tiny, how have your muscles got so big and strong? I've been training for 15 years. The only day I don't train is Christmas Day because the gym's shut. I don't train on Christmas Day. <laughs> right, so when Tiny goes to the gym and lifts weights, what happens is the heavy weight causes small tears in the muscle fibres 
and that stimulates his body to build those fibers back bigger and stronger than before. That's how his muscles got so big and strong. Tiny, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in today. <laughs> Chris, never be cheeky to a man called Tiny. So, how do our muscles actually work? Now, your brain controls your muscles by sending a small electrical charge down a nerve to the muscle. That tells the muscle to move. But what happens when we take control away from the brain and stimulate the muscle directly with these electrodes? I'm attaching electricity conducting pads to Chris's arms. When I press these buttons, electrical charges are sent directly to his muscles, which will make his arms move. See? That was me. Now let's see how many beakers Chris can down while I try to override his brain and control his muscles. OK, Chris, 15 glasses, 30 seconds. Now remember, I'm in control. You've got to drink as much as you can. Right, you ready? No problem. Go. <laughs> Chris is struggling because whilst his brain is sending electrical charges to move his muscles correctly, I'm interfering by sending my own electric charges. With these opposing charges fighting each other, Chris's coordination is all over the place. I'll let go of it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you cannot let go. No, right. Just put it down. Just... No, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, you, 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 I'm pretty well, only two left. <laughs> <laughs> so we've shown that you can override the brain using these electrodes, but not very successfully. The brain is really important for coordination of muscles. You did really well, Chris. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>